It's Saturday and football is back after the international break. Ipswich are playing Nottingham Forest at home. And it's an evening kickoff because it's on Sky. So I'm heading into Leeds to watch it with a couple of my friends. I'm having a few hours off from looking after Harry because he's having the evening with his daddy. Um, but he's all ready to support Ipswich. I'll show you. Say hello. And look what he's wearing. Mummy's favourite outfit. He's a bit grumbly because he doesn't like the car being still. But uh, he won't be there for long. We can see from his shots, it's not that big. Oh, the deep corner, and you switch. Disappointing, two really soft goals given away, um, two elements of poor defending. The biggest factor is, had we Magorsha actually put away the chance, we'd have probably been sitting here with a different thought, thought process. Um, do we deserve the 2 0 down? Reflection, yeah, we've not had that many shots, we've not played very well, um, but it's two soccer punches at the end of the day. We're missing someone in the middle that's controlling, who's McGoldrick. You see at times, see, he's playing on the left wing again, we're playing 4 5 1, we're holding back, we're not putting pressure on. Uh, and I think we're finding it difficult to keep a ball near at their area and someone who's actually just going to challenge their defenders at times the ball's going into the box and you, you see no one there It's grown very tiring feeling this fed up after every game. Those comments from Mark were recorded at half time but they could have been recorded at full time or indeed full time of any number of games this season because nothing is changing. Last week I was lucky enough to have an article published in the new Ipswich magazine Kings of Anglia and in it I talked about how I still enjoy watching the games and how I think it's our job to make sure we all do the same because at the end of the day Ipswich is a hobby. We support them because we love it, we shouldn't see it as a chore. But even I've got to admit that's getting really difficult nowadays. Having had some time to reflect on the game and if I'm being really generous I'd say that that game on Saturday showed just what an impact the injuries have had on our season so far. We've been waiting a long time for David McGoldrick, Johnny Williams, Teddy Bishop to all be back and they can't work miracles overnight. It's going to take time for the team to gel, it's going to take time for them to adapt to this new style of football, let's be honest, we are not used to attacking on goal. But for me the problem was that David McGoldrick was too far back, he played too deep for a striker who was on the pitch on his own. And I don't really understand why Freddie Sears was playing on the wing. The commentators were really annoying me on Saturday because they kept mentioning Daryl Murphy. But they had a point. We do miss him. I'm going to steal something Mark said to me, and I hope he doesn't mind, but he pointed out that we don't miss Daryl's goals. 
there weren't that many of them last year, but we do miss his presence. We miss his ability to intimidate defences. That Nottingham Forest defence on Saturday didn't bat an eyelid, and that's a team that hadn't kept a clean sheet so far this season until they met us. I've talked in my blog, A Diary of a Trapped Girl, about how I think McCarthy is biding his time until January when he can get a replacement for Daryl. I think, in the meantime, we're not going to have to worry about any serious problems. McCarthy will get us enough points to keep ticking on. He will get us enough results. We know the team can do it because they did against Sheffield Wednesday. We're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. I know we've waited 15 years. I know patience is wearing thin, but maybe another few months won't do us any harm.